and you can see that I'm using, I'm not necessarily using the entire stamp, I'm just using bits and pieces of it. You want to get some branches inside because obviously these vines could go right through the bench. Maybe some more down in here. Just wherever you want to stamp. Okay. Now we're going to take our damp brush. That's really the whole technique is stamping and adding a little bit of water. That's the that's the basis for this whole watercolor stamping technique. It's so easy, it's so fun. That's why this is good for all ages. This is great. These are great kids projects because they just turn out so well every time. It's really hard to mess these up. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of water on here and you can see I'm just using the very edge of the, the tip of the brush and I'm just dabbing at this. Don't, don't get into the circular motion and you don't want to um, you don't want to lose your lines. You just want to add the water to soften the lines. So keep that in mind. You're just kind of dabbing at this. If there's any way that you could uh, mess, mess this up, it's by just adding too much water. So be really careful about that. Just use a light touch. And you can see I don't, I don't dip my, my brush in the water very often. A little bit of water goes a, a long ways. and I always pinch it off before I start. So I'm going to just continue to add the water on here. And you can see once you get this technique, you just have so many possibilities that you can do. You'll start recognizing, if you watch our videos, you'll start recognizing the same stamps over and over again. So you're, uh, you just have endless options. Okay, and again, we want to really pop this little cat out, so I want to make sure I get enough color in here all around her. Get some green in here, in between the slats. And down in here as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's coming together now. I think I'll add a little bit more of this dark color to this birdhouse. This is the, the fine point. I'm going to add a couple more details here. Okay, now I'm ready to put some uh, grass down underneath here. I'm going to use my, uh, my jumbo grass and I'm going to ink it with my same green. And I'm just going to stamp it underneath here. Wherever you want to stamp it. And again, Stamp and add water. Don't be afraid to go outside of the lines. Especially when you're doing this grass, it's good to let your brush kind of be free. It makes the grass look a little more natural. And I want to get some dark color in here underneath the bench. Okay, now we're ready to add some flowers in here. I'm going to use this little wildflower, one of my favorites. And again, I'm just going to ink a few of these little flowers. I'm, I could ink the whole thing, but it's just, it's a lot more easy, it's a lot easier to just ink a few flowers at a time. You have a lot more control of where you're putting these things. So I'm just going to ink a couple at a time. Get a little color in here. Wherever you want to put it. Don't worry if you don't get the flower completely stamped on there either. We can add a little water. When we go to soften these, you won't even notice. Just put the flowers wherever you 
want to. Okay, I'm going to go back in with my brush again, pinch off the extra water, and soften these little flowers. These just work great. And you notice when I, I stamp these, because I'm stamping over this green, I want to use a darker color. Obviously you would not want to use a yellow, something bright yellow to stamp over this. You would just, your ink would not show up all, at all. So you want to keep that in mind. Make sure you're using a dark enough color with enough ink to stamp over these dark areas. If you're going to use yellow, make sure you're stamping it over white. Okay, getting all my little flowers in here. Starting to look like a garden. Now we're going to uh, work on this kitty a little bit. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this uh, number 86, the same color I used on these little flowers, and, and water. And I'm just going to brush in a little stroke right underneath. Just to give it a little bit of depth. A little bit in his ears. and darken it a little bit around this little cat. And I'm going to use my um, number 45, my fine point, and just darken the features in here a little bit. That's really all we have to do with that. I'm going to use a little more of this number 17 now, and the green, and put a little bit more color on the bench. So I'm going to mix these two together and water. Brush in a little bit more color here. Especially back in here. This is a little bit more in the shadows. You know, these posts that are back here in the background, make sure they're a little bit darker and this overhang. Adding a little bit of blue to this here as well. A little more dark, dark color in between here. Looking good. Even these projects that are a little more challenging, they're still easy. Still easy enough for anyone to do. For all of you people who think that you're not artistic, these are the projects for you because all the hard work is done for you and you can just stamp and your friends will be so impressed because they will not believe that this was stamped. They'll think that you just created this with a brush and ink and they'll be so impressed with the artist that you are. I'm go going to now add a little bit of a shadow here. Maybe a little bit under here as well. And one more thing maybe, we'll add some wildflowers in here. I'm just going to ink these now. and stamp them. This is a number 20. And again. These little paintings make great cards. They make great framed little paintings and people will just treasure this if you give it to them as a gift. And that's really about all we have to do.